The Derber Roller. My thoughts, questions, and a reach out to the community. Coming up next. What's up guys, I'm Paul D'Onofrio back with you from Groom Reviews. We're getting you comfortable, confident, and clean in grooming. On this channel, we're bringing you everyday grooming product reviews. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell to stay on top of all of our latest videos. You can also check us out on our website at groomreviews.com. So for this video, I've decided to put my beard trimming on hold so that I can let my beard grow out a little bit more for better demonstration on a future product video. That said, I want to switch things up and focus on a product that I'm hoping many of you out in the Groom Reviews community have had a chance to use and can share your experience and results. I'm talking about the Derma Roller. So I wanted to put this video together and reach out to you guys in the Groom Reviews community after a recent conversation I had with a friend who's really struggling uh, with his inability to grow a full beard. He has a lot of patchy areas. Uh, and it's just really wearing on him and taking a toll mentally. He told me he's been trying to use beard supplements, uh, beard growth supplements, uh, doing a whole horde of things, and it's just not working for him. Then he came out and he asked me, he said, you know, my next step is I'm thinking of using the derma roller. What do you think about it? And I honestly looked at him and I said, what is the derma roller? Because I've never heard of the derma roller before he mentioned it. Now, for many of you out there, I'm sure you've known about the derma roller for a while now, uh, but for me, this is just something that's been off the radar and I'm just getting into the research on it and trying to understand you know, how this product is working and what the results are that people are getting out there. For those of you in the same boat as myself, let me explain a little bit about what I've learned about derma rolling, also known as microneedling. So the derma roller is basically this rolling drum here and it's lined with hundreds of these micro needles and it's attached to a handle and this is used to roll across your skin. These needles are meant to create tiny little injury sites along the surface of the skin, which then prompts the body to kick into gear to repair and heal those areas. So the top layer of our skin is the epidermis, and right underneath that is the dermis. That's where we have the blood circulation, the blood flowing, feeding to the skin, as well as the components of collagen and elastin. Collagen is basically builds strength. The elastin creates that elasticity. And when we're using this and we're getting in there and we're, we're poking those little injury sites, uh, it's basically activating you know, blood supply to move to the area, the collagen to move in, and the elastin to move in, which creates, you know, a better environment to regrow hair, fix skin that's that may be loose or you might be wrinkly, and it's just an overall healthy way to, you know, work into those areas that may not have uh, the best things going right now. The derma roller does come in different needle sizes from what I've seen. Uh, it comes from anywhere from 0.2 millimeters up to about three millimeters. Um, but if you're using it at home, you want to stay within the 0.2 to 0.5 millimeter range. That's good if you're, you're trying to use this on the beard or you're trying to use it on the face. But anything above that, you want to have a, a specialist handle it. You don't want to be doing this yourself. Uh, you can go too far in and actually cause more damage than you intended. So the derma roller that I have here, I actually picked up on Amazon for around $12 or so. Um, but the needles on this are 0.25 millimeter and they're titanium needles uh, that are built into this device. Now with use of this product, there are several key instructions you want to keep in mind. Now the first thing you want to make sure is that you're sterilizing these needles. In order to prevent infection, you want to make sure you have an alcohol solution. You put this in it, you know, for about five minutes or so, and make sure that these are just sterilized and clean before and after your use. You gotta picture this almost as like you're using a toothbrush or something of that nature. You don't wanna be sharing this with somebody else. This is your personal device and that's how you wanna treat it. It's also recommended that you first wash your face with some kind of uh, antimicrobial cleanser to remove your oils and dirt from your face uh, so you're not actually you know, rubbing it all over when you're using the product. So when you're using the derma roller, make sure you're applying gentle pressure against the skin. Uh, this isn't meant to puncture and cause bleeding, so if that happens, you're pushing too hard, um, but you are meant to feel, you know, some slight pressure on there. It shouldn't hurt you while you're using this, but you will feel the needles uh, against the skin. So as far as rolling direction, there's three directions that are recommended when using this product. Uh, you wanna be going horizontal, just side to side, vertical, up and down, and diagonal. Um, so when you're doing this, you wanna do probably five to 10 rolls on each area. You wanna make sure you're going with the roller, you're not twisting it, you're not turning it. Uh, that's gonna cause more damage to the skin with these needles that are in here. So right now I'm just gonna jump in and I'm gonna test this out on my beard uh, just to show you guys the different directions to use this product. So here's using the derma roller horizontally. You pick a spot, go in, 
one, two, three, four, five. Then move up to the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Just gentle pressure. One, two, three, four, five. Now if you want to go vertical, pick another spot. So we'll go in here. And now we'll go diagonal. As far as how much to use the derma roller, uh, what I'm seeing is as a beginner, you want to probably just use this once a week, see how the product's working on your skin, see how you're reacting to it, um, and then after you get comfortable with it, you can move to probably twice a week. So as far as using this on longer beard hair, uh, what I'm hearing out there is that you can wet or dampen the beard first. That will reduce the risk of actually getting these needles stuck on pulling at your hair while you're doing it. Another method is you can actually just trim down the beard to a length that's manageable uh, where it doesn't have a chance to snag. Or you can just shave it to the point where it's just you know down to the skin and you can really see those areas where you don't see any stubble growing and that's the areas you want to attack with this. So another thing that people with long beard hair prefer to do is just go in the direction of the beard hair growth. This reduces the risk of it snagging on the way back up. So they'll just come up here and they go down one, lift up, go back. Just like that. Some people have said that using minoxidil, which is uh, the male pattern baldness uh, solution, when they use that in combination with this derma roller, uh, they see great results, increased hair growth. Whoever out there has used this with minoxidil, please let us know your experience, your methods, your result, uh, and how you're doing to this point. From what I've read, you should not derma roll and then use minoxidil right after that. You should wait at least 24 hours before applying the minoxidil. Uh, so you don't have an increased heart rate and things of that nature. Aside from hair regeneration, uh, the derma roller is really best known for its skin rejuvenation benefits and its overall healthy uh, benefits for the skin. So a few of the do nots with the derma roller, uh, do not use this if you're having an acne breakout. Make sure you don't use this on the lips, near the eyes. Do not use this on open sores or wounds. Make sure if you're allergic to metal, you don't want to be using this. Keep it clean in that alcohol solution and you keep it to yourself to reduce the risk of infection. So when you're finished using this, um, I've heard some mixed results on you know, what you should be doing. Some people are saying, you know, put on some kind of vitamin serum or you can put on a cleanser, wash it up. Others say, you know, give it some time to settle in and then put some kind of uh, topical uh, solution on there. But that again is something where I defer to you guys out there in the community. Let me know what you're using, what's working for you, and what kind of results you're seeing. You know, on this channel, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert in every product that I'm using. With this product, I definitely know the time it takes to use. I know what it's going to take, you know, for people out there to get experience with it, test it out, and see results. It's not something I could just use right now, one time, two times, and give you guys a, a review of and say, hey, this is a product that's working great, go out and buy it. This is really a product that takes, you know, months to figure out, is it really working? That said, you know, I feel this is an opportunity to reach out to you guys in the community who have experience with the derma roller, who may have been using this, you know, for months or even even years, um, and you're seeing great results with it. And that's what I want to hear about in the comments. I want to hear, you know, what's your experience? What are your methods? Is there a particular method that's working better than another? Um, are you seeing great results or are you not seeing great results? Anything we can do to help strengthen this community. I want to help those people out there that are struggling right now with patchiness. And I can't really do that myself based on the time period, but I think we can all come together as a whole and make us stronger with the support of those of you out there who have experience. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. I greatly appreciate you guys helping me out and supporting me on this video. If you have an experience with the Derma Roller, please let us know in the comments below. Make sure to check me out on Instagram, at Groom Reviews. I appreciate you being here, and I'll catch you next time.